Why, hey there. Happy 2020. This is Michelle by Bruton. I am coming to you live and in living color, finally. Uh, my mojo has been on hiatus, I guess. I don't know. So I got a little push yesterday to finish up a two ring binder journal that I made using some food packaging. I'm not sure what came in this box, but I um, have covered the box uh, with some craft paper and then a bunch of stash laces and ephemera, Tim Holtz ephemera, to create the outside of what is a design team project for Crafty Malika. Yes, Kelly. <laughs> she asked me to be on her design team about a year and a half ago and I'm gonna tell you what oh my goodness my mojo left the planet um, but it's back this is something that has been in the works for months um, so I'd love to share it with you now and hope you get inspired uh, and know that you know sometimes it goes away but you can always get it back so again the outside it was a, a food box I'm not sure what came in this um, the box, but um, this the laces, this piece here came on a roll. It's like a six inch roll of um, crochet lace. And then all of the rest of the laces are just trims that you can get either at Hobby Lobby, um, Michaels, or <clears throat> Walmart. So nothing fancy, nothing super um, expensive, and definitely nothing that I found in an antique store somewhere. All these are relatively new. Uh, yeah, so there's that. And then I have a candy jar that I have done in acetate with some stays on ink. I um, love that stamp. And I backed it with a Tim Holtz playing card. I think the couple on the other side were kind of scary. I knew I'd never use them as ephemera, so I just used the card as the um, base of the cookie jar and put in uh, one of the butterfly pieces of ephemera and one of the new floral pieces. And back there are some of those little playing cards that had letters. So this is a journal for one of the young ladies in my Bible talk. She um, definitely said she's a journaler. And so I've been meaning to get something to her just to encourage her um, for one, being in our group, and just to let her know that I remember that uh, she and my daughter are good friends and um, just wanted to encourage her. So I have a hitch fastener here with a piece of, not it's not sorry, um, seam binding. Just tied in a bow and it makes it easy. All that has to happen is it just has to be lifted up. And then that way there's also room for growth. So I use one of the Tim Holtz binders, uh, two hole punch binders, and um, this inside piece, again, there's more stash laces. This crochet, this piece here came from off of a um, crocheted sweater. I snagged it, and so I was like, well, I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna use the pieces for uh, ephemera. There's a glassine bag with some journaling cards in it and this back page here is some of that Tim Holtz wallpaper from the wallpaper package and then we just have the collection and it's very very there I won't say it's very little embellishment there is none it's mostly just the collection I did stamp uh, the this book belongs to and the story begins again that's another one of those butterflies from the Tim Holtz pack and on the back is a rose from that same pack and then it's just a collection, and it's on a two-ring binder, and I just have altered, alternated, alternated? Oh, that does not sound right. Y'all know what I mean. Um, the pages from Kelly's collection with some primary paper. And I've got them in different sizes. And so this is her collection number two. And literally, I printed them. I scaled these on a small, two, two on a page. The other ones are full size. And um, just folded them in half. 
and then put the uh, the holes in them and created this binder. And so again, it's just a sprinkling of the different pages. It's really strictly for journaling. Um, here's an envelope. It's got just a journaling card in it. That is about it for embellishments. I just, again, took the collection. The pieces are so pretty, Kelly. Love your brown skin girls. And so um, I think she'll like it. She's a 20-somethinger. And these young ladies uh, definitely are um, that age range. And so just fun. Again, no, I'm telling you, this is all I could do, y'all, was punch some holes. <laughs> um, I put all my effort into the uh, the binder itself. And then just am letting the collection do the talking for itself. So thanks, Kelly. I appreciate you're not firing me yet. <laughs> I will still do pieces with the collection and point people your way. So this, this is, I think this is Vec Vectra Designs and I've just put um, a calendar back here. So if she's doing some Bible study and something, she can keep track of what she's done. And in the back, here has um, another glassine bag, another piece, again, that wallpaper um, from Tim Holtz here so you guys can see what I'm talking about it came out of this collection sorry for the glare on my nails <laughs> I was trying to hide them but there we go and then the back and I put another one of the Tim Holtz florals and my name by Bruton I the way that I did the um, seam binding was I just had this big button and I put the seam binding through it and so and then punched a hole with my um, huge hole puncher and there we go so there you have it slow to return but uh, it was good. It felt good to finish something. I've got so many projects that are half done that need to be completing, completed. Um, where the covers are done or I've printed out the pages. and So this was kind of fun to at least get back on the wagon, y'all. So I hope everybody is having a crafty, happy New Year start to their 2020. And new decade, new year. Let's get to creating. Alrighty, happy crafting. See you soon. Bye.